hope that you you are all fine. You are staying at home. You are fine. Am I right? So we will start with the schedule number three. Already we have discussed about the one part that is four sonnets types. Today we are going to start with the new point that is motion and its types. So see what is exactly the motion. The motion is nothing but a moving air or moving object is called as a motion. For example, now see if you if you look outside, just look outside, just go out and just see. Oh, can you see the trees? Trees are moving. The leaves of the trees are moving. Yes. What things you can see outside? Just go out for a one minute and just come and come back to our physics lecture. Yes. What things you can observe on you know from the window? Just recall them. Yes. What do you observe? Ah, huh, you might have seen the birds. Am I right? You have seen some birds. They are what they are, they are moving. They are moving. So what they are? They are in the motion. The if you will see the trees, you might have seen the trees. They are moving. Means not they are actually they are not moving. The leaves of uh, because of the air, they are moving. So they are we, we can see they are in the motion. They are in the motion. Now see the now there is which season is going on? Can you just tell me? Yes, it is a rainy season. So you might have seen some small waterfalls. See, the what is actually the waterfalls happening? It is moving. The waterfall is moving down, am I right? So it is nothing but moving of the water. This we can see it is in the motion. It is in the motion. Have you ever have you ever visited for the in a railway station? Okay, just you can see that suppose this is a railway station. You can see the train is moving. So we can say the train is moving. Train is in the motion. A train is in the motion. Now you will enter in the train and you will leave. Then at that time, what, you, what kind of things you can see? The railway station or the station is moving backside. Am I right? At that time, what you can see? The station or the whatever the things you can see from the window. That time you can see the, the they are going backward, right? but they are in the motion. But actually they are not in the motion. You are in the motion. Can you get it? So the next, or for example, I can give you one best example. See, no, see your city at home. Whether you are in motion, give me the example. Give me the quick answer. Whether you are in motion. Oh, some are saying no, some are saying yes, but I can say yes, you are also in the motion. What is the reason behind that? That why I have said yes, that you are in the motion? See, just guess something. See, I will just give a clue that it is related to the schedule number 2. So, can you tell me why, why I can say that you are in the motion? See, you are sitting at home and you are watching me, but I can feel that you are in the motion. Can you guess? Yes. See, the reason is that earth is moving. Are you getting me? Earth is continuously moving. So, we can see that day and night. Am I right? So, rotation is caused due to the day and night. Rotation causes day and night. So, we are in the motion uh, or we can say in a simple way that with respect to the observer whatever the things are moving we can say they are in the motion they are in the motion are you getting this oh now see the table the chair you can see they are in the at a that particular place they are at a steady place they are not moving. Uh, now, you, if you will see uh, to yourself, you are, you are sitting at one place. That time, what you can see? It is at a rest position. It is at a rest position. 
the object which does not move from its place, we can say they are at the rest position. Are you getting this? Now, they already I have discussed about a Newton's second law of motion. Can you recall it? What is a Newton's second law of motion? We have discussed in force and its types. Force and its type. Because of the Newton's second law of motion, we have derived the formula that is force is equal to mass into acceleration. So, there are Newton's three law of motion. How many laws of motion does Newton have? Three law of motion. We will just record one by one. So, the first, see, a body is at a rest, will remain a rest until an external force is applied on it. Now, for example, see, this is a duster. This is a duster, right? Now, if I will keep here on my hand, it will remain forever there only. Okay? Until I will apply any of the, until I will apply the any external force, it will not move. It will not change its place. Are you getting this? So, that we can say a body is at a rest, will remain at a rest until any external force is applied on A. And similarly, it will come that or a body will remain uniform, it will be in a continuously moving until any external force is applied on air. Now see, the air is continuously moving, so we, can, we cannot jam that air, we cannot see that high, we don't want the air. Am I right? So, the thing is that when anything is moving, for example, see that the waterfall is or you can see the waterfall. Hmm. That time, what happens? The water is continuously flowing. It is continuously flowing. If we will stop that waterfall, means any external forces applied on that particular waterfall, it will stop there only. Are you getting it? So, the body is at a rest position, will remain rest until any external force is applied, or uh, we can say a body will remain uniform until an external, it will remain continuously in uniform motion until, it, uh, until any external force is applied on it. Now second law of motion is that force, force acting on a body is equal to the mass into acceleration. This uh, second law of motion we have analyzed it, we have proved it. Are you getting it? So now the third law of motion, what is the third law of motion? Every action there is equal and opposite reaction. Now see, for example, if if I will take this test, if I will throw this chalk up, it will come down. When my force is applied, that much force will apply upside, and the gravitational force will apply to pull that down. Which now see when you will jump up, when you will jump up. Whatever the force you will apply, the gravitational force, the earth will apply opposite force to pull you down. Are you getting it? So, every action there is equal and opposite reaction. So, this is about the motion. We have learned about the motion. And in the next video, we will learn about the types of motion. So, today's work will be that you have to read the state board from the state board as well as from the CBSE your 6 standard book in that lesson number 10 that is motion and its measurement you have to learn you have to read the part of motion are you getting me thank you